The Fabulous 50s lived again at 1 Des Moines Elementary. Roosevelt students toured Central Campus, and Walnut Street students got cultured. All this and more coming up on this edition of Channel 12 News. From the Channel 12 studios in downtown Des Moines, this is a Channel 12 News update. Hello, I'm Bradley Meyer, bringing you the latest news from the Des Moines Public Schools. Students and staff traveled back in time to celebrate a school year milestone. On the 50th day of school, students and staff at Hillis Elementary dressed up for 50s day. With everyone from the school nurse to the lunch ladies getting into the act, the kids couldn't help but get caught up in the fun. Many students dressed the part to really get into character, as sock hops were the order of the day. 50s day was a fun way to mark the 50th day of the school year, and also taught the kids a bit about life half a century ago. In other news, two Birdie students are award winners. The Des Moines Metro Area Optimist Annual Youth Appreciation Luncheon was held on Wednesday, November 4th at the Holiday Inn Merle Hay. Emily Weiss and Joe Tomlin, two Brody Middle School 8th grade students, were honored with awards after being chosen by their teachers for academic excellence and positive citizenship. Emily and Joe were among other middle and high school students from surrounding schools who received awards recognizing their contributions as successful students. World awareness is an important part of any child's education and is an integral part of the Des Moines Public Schools graduate end statements. The graduate end statements are a list of skills and abilities that have been identified as necessary for students to have in order to be successful in life. As the world gets smaller and more diverse, students who are exposed to other cultures during their school years will bring that experience and understanding with them as they go through the rest of their lives. Students at the Walnut Street School recently had a chance to experience music and games from three different countries during the school's cultural day. Students at the Walnut Street School have been studying different countries and cultures in class as part of their international baccalaureate curriculum. As a supplement to their research, the school's PTO arranged for a visit from some cultural ambassadors to give kids a chance to interact with people from other countries. Um, the PTO worked with World of Difference and we brought in three different cultural ambassadors today. One from Senegal, um, teaching the kids some West African drumming. We had a cultural ambassador from Mexico, teaching some music and about instruments. And then we had um, some Chinese cultural ambassadors come in, teach some children's games, and then some waste drumming this afternoon. So an opportunity to build off of that learning that we're also doing here in our classrooms. The cultural ambassadors brought knowledge and fun to the students as they took part in games and musical jam sessions. That, combined with the International Baccalaureate Classroom Curriculum, gives kids an understanding of the people and customs that make up the world around them exposing them to different cultures, different experiences, because we know that when they get out into the world as adults um, and in the workforce, the world is going to be a much smaller place. There's going to be a lot of connectedness. In other news, students from Roosevelt High School got an up-close look at the numerous career and technical programs offered at Central Campus. All the ninth grade students from Roosevelt High School recently visited Central Campus to get a close look at the career and technical programs they were interested in. Uh, they started off uh, having some education about opportunities and how that fit with their Roosevelt schedule first with their ad advocacy teachers and their writer time. So there was um, some work done ahead of time. Now they're here seeing it and the follow-up is they will have um, a survey, they will sign up for classes if they're interested and they'll go back and do that with their advocacy teachers because those are the teachers who are helping them all year long to make some of these really important decisions about their future. Each student was able to pick two different programs to visit. They got a chance to talk with teachers and students, as well as tour the program space. Other schools are scheduled to bring their ninth grade students to Central for a visit in the coming months to introduce them to the many learning opportunities available to them. The very most important thing is that so every single Des Moines student has access to the same opportunities uh, to increase diversity and so that every student, every parent knows that their child had the opportunity to take advantage of every, everything that we have here in Des Moines. And finally, a new program is launching that aims to get high school dropouts back into class. News media and area educators gathered for a press conference announcing the creation of a local branch of the Gateway to College program, a nationally recognized education model that gives high school dropouts full access to college courses, facilities, and support services. Funded through a $300,000 startup grant from the Walmart Foundation, the program is a partnership between Des Moines Area Community College and Des Moines Public Schools aiming to give high school dropouts in Central Iowa a second chance to continue their education. Students who enroll will attend DMACC to earn not only their high school diploma, but also credits that can be applied to a college degree as well. The program is another component of the district's destination graduation initiative to keep kids in school, earning their high school diploma.
Um, it, it just was a, an exemplary um, case of a community working together to solve a problem. We're at the front end of that problem. We um, are excited uh, to be a part of this Gateway to College initiative. Um, it is one more um, uh, silver bullet for us, I guess you might say, about how we can provide these options to youth. The Gateway to College program will enroll its first students in the fall of 2010. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 12. For more great stories, be sure to visit our website at www.channel12online.org. For Channel 12, I'm Bradley Meyer. Thanks for watching.